Um, so I'd like to go ahead and launch the virtual Weber Farrell Scholarship event for 2020. Can everyone hear me okay, first of all? Okay, some nods, some thumbs up, that sounds good. Um, so I am Brian Primack, Dean of the College of Education and Health Professions, for those of you who I haven't met yet. Um, and I'll go ahead and start immediately by acknowledging that this format is, of course, not how we would have liked to have been celebrating. It would have been great to be back like we were last year at the Fayetteville Country Club. But just like football games go on in the snow and the sleet, I'm glad that we are adapting to these challenges. In fact, for you trivia buffs out there, because uh, I know we have some sports fans here, um, only one NFL game of all time has ever been canceled because of bad weather. It was in 1935. And it was between what was then the Boston Redskins and the Philadelphia Eagles. So hopefully next year, we'll be back in person. But in the meantime, I'd like to thank everyone involved in planning this event because it still took a lot of coordination. And that includes Bailey Younger, Jamie Banks, Dean Weber, and of course, the Arkansas Alumni Association. And then let's add to that group, our mighty athletic training group, Jeff Bonici, Brendan McDermott, and Leslie Vandermark, who have all worked so hard with these students. Please join me in virtually applauding and thanking all of these folks. <laughs> so whatever the format, this is one of the college's most exciting events of the year because we celebrate the benefactors who gave all of the athletic training program scholarships. And of course, we also celebrate the student recipients. Our ability to recognize these students though would not be possible without the generosity and support of so many of you, our alumni and friends. And these awards, just so you know, pack a wallop. Since the Dean Weber and Bill Farrell Scholarships Endowment started, more than $98,000 has been awarded to nearly 80 deserving students. So how did all of this start? Well, a little bit of history. The Bill Farrell Endowed Scholarship in Athletic Training came out of the Razorback A Club. They raised money in memory of Bill Farrell, their longtime athletic trainer and head baseball coach at the university. Former athletes who played under Bill generously donated under the leadership of Harold Horton and the Razorback Foundation. And former Razorback Jim Lindsay, who many of you may know played for the 1964 national championship team graciously agreed to match all of the money raised by the A Club. So let's again, put our virtual hands together for Bill, Harold, Jim, and everyone else who got the ball rolling. I know it's a little it's sad not being able to hear everyone's applause at the same time, but we can just imagine it in our heads. So then, as many of you know, the 1979 Razorback football seniors decided to create the Dean Weber Athletic Training Scholarship. They wanted to honor their team, tra team trainer, but even more their friend, for his many years of service and loyalty. This group committed to continuing their practice of 100% participation as a group of teammates, giving back to the University of Arkansas, and honoring Dean for his service and dedication. So we are very lucky to have with us today some members of the 1979 Razorback Football Southwestern Conference Champs. So if you were a part of the 1979 football team, please wave so that we can recognize you and applaud you.
Okay. So the past 12 recipients of the Weber Scholarship have been very busy. They've become athletic trainers in the NFL, Major League Baseball, the NBA, and at prestigious universities, of course, across the country. We are proud of every one of these COEP athletic training graduates for their accomplishments. And we can't wait to see what the future holds for them, as well as for all of the people we are going to honor today. Now, I'd like to turn this over to Mr. Dean Weber. Dean served as the head athletic trainer of the Arkansas Razorback football team for 37 years, from 1973 until 2008. That is dedication. Since then, Dean supported the university as the director of equipment services from 2008 to 2014, and as an assistant director with the Razorback Foundation for the last six years. So let me formally introduce Dean Weber. Thank you. Thank you. Chuck, it's good to see you. Where are you? Uh, in Hong Kong or Vietnam or someplace? No, Dean, I'm in California. Oh, you're in California. Well, you were in Asia the last time. Yeah, we've been back in the States about two months now, and we're settling oh. in California for our next assignments. Good. And there's Robert. I see him. He's uh, about a mile away. Um, well, this is the 13th year. Uh, it's only fitting in this crazy year of 2020 um, that um, I guess this is lucky number 13. Um, uh, it's good to have you all here today, and I'm really uh, excited about this and, and good to see all of you. Um, there's, um, But let me say that there's no greater legacy to leave than to provide for the education and ultimately the the uh, the health care of young athletes. It is in my mind anyway, because I made a career out of that. Uh, but um, but this is not my legacy or Bill Farrell's legacy. Uh, this is the legacy of those 1979 seniors and uh, uh, on the championship football team. Uh, and this is the legacy of Groundhogs boys from 19. 50 to 67, uh, it's what they're leaving. And Zach Hooper's family is leaving and Al Gordon is leaving. Uh, that's y'all's legacy. And Zach, of course, left us way too soon. Uh, um, and having lost a son of my own over 20 years ago, I certainly empathize with his family. But Zach so enjoyed his association with us and we enjoyed him and he did a great job and he really enjoyed it. And, uh, and we miss him. Uh, and Al Gordon, uh, who came to us in 1995, I think, it's, it's been about 25 years, uh, realized how, how critical athletic trainers are uh, to the first line of defense in, in treating injuries uh, and affecting positive outcomes more than uh, just about anybody else in the chain. Uh, he really appreciates athletic trainers and wants to do all he can to help them. Uh, and that 79 bunch, what we had then uh, was probably different than what's prevalent now. We certainly had a lot of fun. We won a bunch of ball games. Um, uh, and we just had a, we just had a good time. Uh, and uh, uh, those guys were extremely tough. Uh, they pretty much had to be because they weren't very good athletes. And uh, they didn't have a lot of talent. So they got hurt a lot. So we spent a lot of time together and that's, Robert, I know you appreciate that. You did too. And, uh, um, and, but we eventually developed these relationships and friendships that have lasted for over 40 years. Uh, the bond of trust that was built between us uh, as individuals and as a group uh, was the basis of what we have now, which led to this, to this endowment that grows each year. And Bill Farrell, uh, he had that bond of trust with his players too, with Jim Lindsay and Harold Horton and uh, Billy Joe Moody and uh, just a slew of others. Uh, those players loved him and he returned it and maybe in just a little bit different way, but I will say that for 35 years, I never felt that I really replaced 
that grand old man. Uh, I just kept his seat warm. Um, but, uh, but the trust and relationships those athletes had with both of us and us with them for over, uh, for over five decades, uh, over 50 years has culminated in these scholarships that you, uh, you most worthy students enjoy today. And to the students, please look forward to your career and your future. Um, I can't tell you how much fun and how rewarding uh, it's going to be for you. I mean, you're going to have a great ride uh, if you stay in this profession. Um, by achieving these awards, please know that uh, it's not just you that are being honored, but you honor us. Uh, we are all so proud of you and wish you the best. And now I get to give you a little advice, students, uh, because I'm, uh, this award's got my name on it and I'm older than anybody in this room. So uh, here you go. Uh, and you don't wanna hear it, you can meet me. But um, it's very important to care about your athletes, um, about your school, and, and please care about winning. If you're working for a team, it makes it a lot easier and you'll, it, it's important to care about winning. Uh, if you don't care whether you win or lose, you'll lose more than you, you win in all areas of your life. And for God's sakes, have a, have a sense of humor. Uh, laughter really is the best medicine. That's not just a quote that somebody made up. Uh, it sure helped me a lot uh, and, is in, and is critical in establishing that bond of trust that we talk so much about. Uh, that bond of trust is a two-way street. It, uh, uh, it can't just work one way and it won't just happen. You have to work at it. Um, it takes some, uh, it takes some doing to do that. Uh, but you'll enjoy it along the way. You'll have a lot of fun doing that. And, and lastly, uh, think outside the box. Not everything you do has to be based on science or, uh, sometimes things work just because they work. Uh, it's okay just to make an athlete feel better. It doesn't have to be based uh, on any kind of evidence, although I know that's the thing. Anecdotal, God invented the word anecdotal for a reason, and, uh, uh, and it does work. But I want to thank the, the 79 seniors and Groundhogs boys and uh, Zach Hooper's family uh, and Al Gordon and Frank Burles for bringing me here in 1973. Uh, Rhoda Brezzo and Susan Mays for helping start this program way, way back. Uh, and Sharon Hunt and Dean Greenwood and all the predecessors and Dean Primack um, for having faith in this program. And Jennings Osborne and David Basil for uh, coming up with the award back in the early days. Um, and Jeff and Brendan and Leslie uh, and even Gretchen Oliver who helped way back in the early days as well. And all the athletes and coaches and staff that I've had, and uh, I didn't just do this by myself. You know, we had a, we had a bunch of student athletic trainers and uh, of course they were integral in doing all of this. And the Razorback Foundation for their support. And I just wanna thank you all for being here today. This is an awful special uh, deal for me and, uh, and for the students. Um, and I'm going to turn this back over to Dean Primack now, but with one last word, be sure you go vote. Thank you. Yeah, that didn't take long, did it? No, ju just right. Just right. Just right. Some great Perfect. advice there, Dean. So thank you very much. Um, and uh, let's now go ahead and dive into recognizing those scholarship recipients that that you were talking about. So students, I will introduce you one by one, and then I will turn it over you, uh, to you to say a few words about your experience in our athletic training program, and then also a little bit about what you've learned along the way, because that can be helpful to everybody. So the Zachary Brian Hooper Endowed Award in Athletic Training was established in 2009 in the memory of Zach, who we just heard about from Dean so eloquently. Uh, this scholarship is awarded each year to a deserving student athletic trainer for the Razorback football team 
who is enrolled in the College of Education and Health Professions. So we'd like to thank the many generous benefactors of the Zach Brian Hooper Memorial Scholarship. And that includes Zach's mother, Gay Manning, her husband, Gerald, Zach's father, Brian Hooper, his wife, Bawana, and also Zach's brother, Austin. So the recipient of the 2020-2021 Zach Brian Hooper Award in Athletic Training is Ava Chiarelli who is a sophomore in our kinesiology exercise science program. Unfortunately, Ava is unable to join us today, but a bit more about her is that she currently works with the Razorback football team and loves the hands-on experience that she's gaining along the way. She hopes to begin working with the team throughout upcoming summers. And after graduation, Ava hopes to continue her education in graduate school and her big dream is to work either at the high school level or at the NFL as an athletic trainer. So congratulations to Ava. The next award we have is the Dr. Al Gordon Scholarship in Athletic Trainer, in Athletic Training. So we also heard a little bit from Dean about Dr. Gordon. This was created in 2014 and is awarded each year to a graduate student seeking a master of, of athletic training. So Dr. Gordon is here with us today uh, and we'd like to thank him for all he's done for uh, Razorback Athletics and for our athletic training program. Uh, a little bit of virtual applause here for Dr. Gordon. <laughs> okay, so the recipient of the Dr. Al Gordon Scholarship in athletic training this year is Stevie Blackburn Lazade. Um, or it, I'm sorry, Stevie, is it Lazaldi? Lazalde. Lazalde. Okay. Thank you so much, Stevie, <laughs> for correcting me. And now um, I would like to introduce Stevie to tell us a little bit about her experience. Um, very briefly, I'll just tell you that she's from El Paso, Texas. And she's, uh, and she's in her first year of the graduate athletic training program in our college. So she got her bachelor's degree in exercise and wellness at Arizona State. And she worked in athletic training at a community college in Scottsdale, Arizona. And she also finished an internship with the El Paso Chihuahuas, which is the minor league affiliate for the San Diego Padres. So after graduation, it makes sense that Stevie hopes to work with Major League Baseball. So congratulations, Stevie, on your award. And uh, now please just give us a couple minutes about um, your perspective, Stevie. Um, okay, so I feel like the thing I've enjoyed most about Arkansas and being at the university is the overall um, sense of community that the school has. Um, especially with the sports, no matter if the Razorbacks win or lose, the community will always be behind them. And I feel like that's what I really enjoyed about being in this program because the sense of community has been transferred into our program and our school. And I feel like our professors really care about us as a human first and really care about what we think and how we feel and just how we're doing overall. And that's been really important to me uh, throughout this program in the last year and a half. And overall, I've learned, especially being as a female and wanting to be in a professional sport, that I can still make my impact and hopefully change athletic training for the better. Great. Thank you so much, Stevie. Yep. <laughs> so now uh, I would like to recognize the 2020-21 student recipients of the Bill Farrell Endowed Scholarship in Athletic Training. Um, and then the Dean Weber Athletic Trainer Scholarship. So the first Bill Farrell Scholarship recipient that we'd like to recognize is Bailey Bastian. Bailey is from Roseville, California, and she received her undergraduate degree in community health science with an emphasis in kinesiology at the University of Nevada in Reno. During that time, she interned with the Nevada Wolfpack and that is when it became clear to her that athletic training was her passion. 
So congratulations, Bailey, on your accomplishment. And please uh, give us a couple minutes of wisdom from you. Okay, um, like Stevie said, I have really loved the community here in Fayetteville and at the University of Nevada. I've also really enjoyed um, seeing how the skills that we learn in the classroom translate to the clinical site and learning from various skilled athletic trainers at my clinical sites. Um, I've, it's been cool to see how the little things that we learn both at clinical and in the classroom translate across the board instead of um, being sports specific. Um, additionally, and while each of the athletic training faculty members have ensured that I most definitely have the tools I need to succeed in the future. Uh, Dr. McDermott does an excellent job caffeinating prior to class and keeping us engaged in the material. Great, thank you so much, Bailey. And uh, good luck on um, keeping up with Dr. McDermott. You know, after that kind of caffeination, you, you never know what you're gonna get. Now that was very nice. Um, and you know, I'm hearing a little bit of what um, Dean was talking about in terms of there being a lot of science that we're learning, but a lot of art as well. And that's what makes this, uh, this, this area so interesting. Um, okay, so I'd like now to introduce um, Fernanda Guitron Topete. And she is our next recipient of the Bill Farrell Scholarship this year. So uh, Fernanda is from Guadalajara, Mexico, and she's in her second year here at the University of Arkansas in our MAT program. She is focused on working at the collegiate level. So congratulations, Fernanda, and we're excited to see where your future takes you. But first, tell us a little bit about your perspective on the program. Hi, yeah, so like, um, like Bailey said, I think our clinical sites that we have are very high quality. So I think we're very lucky for that. And uh, I think my perspective, so I played volleyball here um, at the University of Arkansas. And so I had the athlete perspective of like everything basically. And then, so now translating it into being a healthcare professional, I think that, um, and I, I think it's a big change, but I'm, I'm learning a lot. And uh, like Dean Weber said, I think sometimes we can get too carried about, away with the theories that we learn in class. And the evidence that we that we learned, but then going into clinical and them telling us like, okay, you just need to be creative. And sometimes little tips and tricks that they have, it's they're very helpful for us. So, so I'm very grateful for that. And yeah, for our professors as well, I think they all do a pretty good job of um, just yeah, <laughs> just being great and like being there for us for everything that we need. So yeah, great. Thank you, Fernanda. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, introduce our next recipient, who is Kyle Holland. So Kyle is from Pembroke, Massachusetts, and he received his bachelor's degree in kinesiology from the University of Rhode Island. Um, so while he was there at URI, he spent time as a bullpen catcher with the baseball team. And after getting to know his athletic trainer, he realized that this was the career that he wanted to pursue. So after graduation, might not be a surprise, Kyle plans to pursue a career working in baseball, um, but is not sure if he's looking at the collegiate or the professional ranks. So Kyle, uh, let's hear a little bit from you about your experience. Um, so my time in Arkansas, I've just been very grateful for our professors. Ever since the beginning when I was applying here, Dr. B showed like a sense of wanting and wanting me and wanting to know all of his students. Um, Dr. Vandermark always seems to put us with a good clinical site, really seems to know who we'd work well with. So I've just been very grateful for working with them. And like Stevie said, just a sense of community in the area. Great, thank you so much, Kyle. Okay. So um, sorry, I just had a little Zoom blip there for a second. <laughs> okay, so um, 
our next uh, recipient is Callie Tosh. So Callie, um, who just also received the Bill Farrell Scholarship, comes to us from Troop, Texas. Callie received her bachelor's degree in kinesiology as well um, from Washita Baptist University, where she volunteered heavily with their athletic training department. And when I asked her, she said that she enjoyed basketball and volleyball in particular. Um, Callie has also been working in the area of preventing and treating concussions, which is, of course, a critical area in athletic training. So congratulations, Callie, on this award. And um, go ahead and give us a couple minutes on, on what your experiences have been like. Uh, yeah, so I feel like I'm not going to say anything much different than uh, anybody else. Um, I can't really brag on our faculty and the people who work with our program enough. Um, they have so much attention to detail in both our clinical courses and um, curriculum, but also into who we are as individuals, um, our individual um, personalities, strengths, weaknesses, um, all that um, kind of influence. And they definitely work um, to make sure that we're not only um, going to be great in the field of athletic training, but also as individual human beings. So, Great. Thanks, Callie. And there's nothing wrong with not having a whole lot to add, because what that means is that we've kind of hit what we call thematic saturation, where we're hearing we've got an awesome faculty, we're, we're hearing that they've got great um, training sites, um, that they are learning the science, but they're also learning um, the art of caring for athletes. Uh, we're also hearing all about their passion. So nothing wrong with hearing the same themes again and again. It just makes us realize what a strong program this is. Um, so let's go ahead and um, introduce our next recipient. Um, he is, uh, recipient of the Bill Farrell Scholarship, but he is also the 13th student to receive the Dean Weber Most Distinguished Student in Athletic Training. And who I'm talking about is J.D. Pletch. So J.D. is from Rochester, Illinois, and he earned his undergraduate degree in exercise science with minors in nutrition and export, exercise and sport psychology from SIU, from Southern Illinois University at Edwardsville. After graduating, JD would like to stay here in Northwest Arkansas, which we are very happy about, and to pursue a career at a local high school. So congratulations, JD. We are very, very appreciative that you're gonna stay here with us in Northwest Arkansas, and we're very excited to see where your career takes you. Let's go ahead and give him an, a round of applause for being the 13th Dean Weber Award winner. And um, you can also see JD's official Dean Weber Athletic Training Scholarship Trophy. Um, it is there with him. Can we see that? <laughs> Look at that. So it's right there on your screen commemorating this special award. So um, JD, do you have a couple of thoughts for us uh, over the next couple minutes? So aside from moving down here to this beautiful area and getting out of the land of cornfields up in Illinois, um, my wife and I have really enjoyed the area in general, but also I think the biggest thing in the program that I've noticed is just the people. So from the faculty, they really care about us and uh, progressing the profession of athletic training, not just making us into the traditional athletic trainers, just kind of they want us to really progress the pr profession moving forward and uh, my fellow classmates. So, I mean, you can't really get a better group of students together than we have where they're going so many different directions and you make the connections with them that can really propel us forward in the future.
Great. Well, thank you very much, JD. Um, and thanks again to Dean Weber. Um, um, congrats. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Dean Primack, can I Please. say one thing? Absolutely. Um, Yes, yes. JD, congratulations. We haven't had a chance to talk yet, but uh, you're lucky number 13. I see we have uh, number one in the audience today, Robin Myers uh, from up in Michigan, I believe. Uh, Robin was the first recipient uh, back in 2008, I believe. And uh, it's good to have you here, Robin. Why don't you tell us what you're doing these days? Hi, Dean. It's great to Hi see you. Hi there, Robin. It's been such a long time. It has I'm been. Michigan. I work at a hospital. I do a lot of administrative work now, but I do work in outpatient physical therapy and also get to work with a wide range of athletes that come in to see me as well. Um, it's been a blast. I really miss Arkansas. It was one of my favorite times in my life, learned so much there. And it's nice to see everyone and know that the tradition's continuing and that you're honoring these students for, it sounds like the long term and the program's doing really well. So I'm very proud of everyone and my light just went out, <laughs> but <laughs> wish everyone the best of luck. And I'm always available if you ever need any career outreach opportunities as well. Good to see you, thank you. Number one, number 13, there you go. That's perfect. Well, thank yeah. you so much, uh, Dean, for alerting me to Robin's presence. And thank you, Robin, for giving us the perspective that I think that's really useful so these students can see um, how, how this kind of award really can propel you to a very uh, successful career. So I'd like to thank, of course, Dean Weber. Um, I'd also like to thank once again, everybody who made today possible. And I'm thinking about um, all the coordination oh, yeah. that that Bailey and Jamie uh, did, and the Arkansas what kind of call you all? Alumni uh, Association, um, and also, of course, the faculty team: Leslie Vandermark, um, Brendan McDermott, uh, Jeff Bonici. Um, We really appreciate everything that you have done for these students, um, and to the students for one last time. Um, we just want you to know how proud we are and how much we are looking forward to watching you grow uh, personally and professionally. So uh, to end this event, we, we generally, you know, call the hogs and we call up one person to do this. In this event, in this, you know, setting, we might as well take advantage of something. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask all of the award winners to call the hogs together. And of course, we will follow along with you. But why don't you go ahead and unmute yourself because, you know, I mean, uh, we, we, you know, we, we need a little bit more audio feedback, um, you know, for, for this. So um, students, uh, whenever you are ready. All right. Come on. <laughs> Come on. So I, I can't guarantee that that's the first time that that's ever happened or the last time, but it was unique. Right. Yeah. We'll remember it. Right. Lucky number, lucky year 13 that, you know, we got to have a different kind of experience. So, again, thanks, everybody, for your participation. Um, and um, we'll look forward to seeing you next year in person at the Fayetteville Country Club. Fingers crossed. <laughs> thanks, everybody. Thank